Are you ready to get your fix? With the wicks here on this beautiful Tuesday, now we have got a sensitive subject to talk about, okay? For those of you that don't remember, Bills or former Bills punter Matt Ariza uh, kind of got into a, an alleged... Basically, he did something very, very bad, allegedly, okay? It came out last season about midway or like basically at the beginning, just a horrific event that him and some teammates uh, gang raped a 17-year-old girl who was highly intoxicated. Obviously, as at hearing that, the first thing I thought of was, okay, this guy's a scumbag, needs, needs to be locked up. What are we doing? Like, get him out of the NFL and stuff like that, right? And you kind of move on with your life and you go forward. However... Yesterday, last night actually, we learned of some interesting piece of information from Ari Mirov and a couple more of the insiders where they basically, well, tweeted this. Prosecutors say former Bills punter Matt Ariza hasn't been present during, or wasn't, excuse me, wasn't present during an alleged gang rape of a minor that occurred at an off-campus party in October of 2021. Buffalo cut Ariza when word of the incident became public prior to the start of last season. So if you don't remember what exactly happened, let's kind of look at the situation as it lies. So this is what happened. Last August, just days after earning the starting job as the Buffalo Bills punter, rookie Matt Ariza was the subject of a civil lawsuit alleging he and two San Diego State football teammates participated in a gang rape of an intoxicated 17-year-old girl. You hear that automatically, like I said, scumbag. Get him out of the NFL. What the hell are we doing? Okay, plain and simple, I don't like this. This is just, this is bullshit, right? I, di I didn't like any bit of it. Let's keep reading. While little was known publicly, because there was literally not much known, no information was out, it was just... Bam, this happened, allegedly, right? San Diego police had spent nearly 10 months on the case before forwarding it to the district attorney without a recommendation for prosecution, okay? The bill said they also knew about the incident, investigated it, and decided to employ Ariza anyway. So the bills did their own investigation, right? Every single team does this if a player it does, uh, does something either horrific, bad, whatever the case may be, their team is gonna investigate to make sure it's the right, you know, to take the right steps forward, basically, right? So they did their investigation, they didn't think anything was going to come of it. Boom, let's 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 sign uh, Matt Ariza, be our punter. Dude had an absolute cannon of a leg, okay? Absolute cannon. This dude was the next big thing at punter and stuff like that. Um, and then this comes out. Boom, Bills decide to cut him instantly, and life goes on, right? What's going to happen with the situation? Nothing was really heard of until we heard that he wasn't present, okay? He wasn't even there. How? Well, let's look. Ariza remains out of football, bummer, despite prosecutors announcing on December 7, 2022 that after conducting their own 124-day investigation that they wouldn't press any criminal charges in the case. However, few details, let alone their reasoning or additional exemplar, uh, exemplary evidence, was included in the initial statement. A fuller picture of what police and prosecutors found, however, is now available via a 200-plus page transcript of a 100-minute meeting 100 minute meeting that was kind of weird uh, obtained by yahoo sports where a deputy district attorney offered a de detailed explanation to the girl and her attorneys perhaps most notably the district attorney's office concluded ariza couldn't could not have led the girl into the alleged gang rape because he had left the home at about 12 30 a.m an hour prior to when evidence suggested the alleged gang rape would have occurred it says he wasn't even at the party anymore, District Attorney um, Trisha Amador explained to the girl. Later, Amador stated of the timeline of events. All I know is that at that point, suspect Ariza is gone from the party. Now, take in mind, this 17-year-old girl was highly intoxicated. There is videos of this alleged gang rape happening and stuff. So you can kind of, you, you see somebody, but you really can't put together who it actually is. And if this is true, right? If he wasn't there, if he left an hour prior to this event happening, this horrific, terrible, scumbag type of thing that happened to this girl, I, I, I wish nothing but the best for her moving forward and hopefully everything gets worked out. But if he left before that, why tarnish his career? Just because you've seen him, just because he was there and you know, oh, he's a big name. He's going to go in the NFL. Maybe I can make some money off it. I hate it. As soon as I seen that he wasn't there, I was I was visibly pissed off, okay? Because you're ruining not only a man's life, you're ruining a man's career, his legacy. You're literally ruining everything for him, okay? Even though he wasn't there, 
yeah, I know you're intoxicated, so you really don't know the full events. Well, maybe you should kind of think twice about it. Now, I'm not saying, you know, like, she was in the right. She should have reported. She did report. It. I'm glad she did because this is a horrific event and it needs to be fought head on. Okay. Those people that actually did that need to be locked up for a long, long, long time. But don't throw people's name in there that wasn't even involved in the incident in the first place. Matt Ariza probably was going to become the next big thing at punter. An absolute cannon of a leg. This dude deserves a job in the National Football League. And if this comes out 100% true that he actually wasn't there, there's no charges going to be pressed on him because he wasn't actually there. He deserves another shot in the National Football League. And I hope there's a team out there that will give him that opportunity because he deserves it, man. I mean, his career, his life, his legacy, everything is tarnished because of that you know, alleged gang rape that he was allegedly a part of, which guess what? Apparently, he wasn't even there. He left an hour prior. Just sickening to hear, like, it's both sides. Like, if he was there, boom, lock him up. I don't want to see this man anywhere near the National Football League. I don't even want to see him walk in the streets, okay? Plain and simple. But if he wasn't there, why ruin a man's legacy? Why ruin a man's life? Makes no sense to me. Um, I wish nothing but the best for both of these people going forward. Matt Ariza needs a second chance. He deserves a second chance, especially if this is true and he wasn't a part of it, dude. Like, you don't get second chances many times in life. But I believe in this certain situation, in this case, he definitely, definitely deserves it because I don't even know what he's up to now. Maybe finishing college or maybe this is just in the back of his mind and he's freaking out and he's just struggling right now to get by. And I have no idea what he's up to. But he deserves a second chance, and I hope there's a team out there in the National Football League that will offer a chance to him. But I don't think it's going to come until this whole situation is finally over and done with, the hearing's over and done with, and, and stuff like that. But Matt Ariza, man, like, clear this man's name. Clear this man's name if it is true that he wasn't there. Please and thank you. He deserves a second chance. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. You don't have to say anything. This is a very sensitive subject, so I get it. Um... But also drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your night, folks. And you just got your fix with the Wicks.